Good morning, Los Al at home, and may the fourth be with you. We are celebrating the second day of Teacher Appreciation Week by shouting out to all the universe that our teachers are out of this galaxy. I see all of you out there wearing your Star Wars gear. Thanks so much for celebrating Star Wars with us. Send in pics if you want to be in the weekly newsletter. All right, guys, as you can see behind me, we made our way out of Oceania, and now we're into a new continent called Africa. Our very first country is a wonderful place called Nigeria. Nigeria is a large country in Western Africa. It borders the Atlantic Ocean and is home to over 214 million people, making it the most populous country in all of Africa and also the most populous black nation in all the world. The main city, called Lagos, is a bustling metropolis and port with about 22 million residents. Now guys, the Nigerians are an intelligent and hardworking people that are known worldwide for their vibrant and friendly energy that is expressed through things like film, music, dance, sculpture, painting, and so much more. There are over 500 languages spoken in this great nation, which is an honest testament to how many diverse cultures actually live here. Now guys, Nigerian cuisine is largely based on something called ground nuts, but over here in the United States, we like to call those peanuts. They're served boiled, roasted, salted, you name it, they serve it that way. But it's also just a main part of a larger cuisine that includes a lot of vegetables and meats. Now, if you had Nigerian cuisine, you would probably mention that it's savory, hot, and also spicy. Woo! I bet it tastes good though. Thanks so much to all the Los Al at Home scholars that are super excited about your Nigerian heritage. Thanks for bringing us to this country, and I hope seeing some of those landmarks makes you happy. All right, guys, we have Luke Cooper on deck. He's leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance today. Thanks so much, Luke, for taking a risk and being a leader today. Good morning. My name is Luke, and I'll be doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remove all caps. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a good day, scholars. Bye. Thanks so much, Luke, for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Have a great day. Happy birthday to Margaret Coughlin, Anthony Johnson, Sawyer Stute, and Joaquin Ofricio. Happy birthday! And now, let's celebrate our wonderful teachers by practicing gratitude. Hello, and what I'm thankful for Miss Keenest is that she's a really nice teacher, and she's taught us lots of stuff to learn, and really... I know it's really hard to teach, so I really, really thank her for powering through and being her keenest. Bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Enzo, and I'm in Mrs. Locke's kindergarten class. Today, I'm going to share why my teacher is so awesome. She always teaches me so many awesome things, like math and art and all that other stuff. And also, she very, she really rocks. And I love her. And she's awesome and amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. You rock, Miss Locke. Hi, this is Matt Cab. I'm grateful for you because you let us do fun activities every Friday. You also include a special quote, don't stop until you're proud. And I really like that. For those reasons, thank you. And have a great teacher appreciation day. Bye. What I like about Mrs. Fisher is she is super kind and she's brave. And I like that she lets us watch funny videos and she lets us tell her the answer and she lets us tell her more things about our CGI problems. Bye! Hi, Miss Siegel. It's Cal, and I really appreciate what you, what I learned from you, and I really appreciate that you're my teacher. You're the best one I had yet, 
and um, I just really appreciate you for everything you do. Bye! Hi, Miss Batchel. Thank you for teaching me things that I thought were impossible to learn. You're the best teacher in the world, and I feel like the next fourth graders who are going to have you as a teacher are going to be very lucky. Thank you so much. Bye. I love Dr. Tom because she teaches us new stuff, and she is very fun. And what makes her special is that she's very funny and makes us fun stuff. We love when you teach us. Thank you, Dr. Tom. And now it's time for A for the day. We have three A for the days today. Our first A for the day is a kindergartner in Mrs. Otani's class. Now this student is nominated for having a great attitude and the accountability it takes to be a scholar. Are you ready to find out who I'm excited about? Well, it is River Artiga. Way to go, River. Thanks for making all of us so proud of your hard work. River has become a hardworking kindergarten student this year. He can sit, listen, and participate. He has the school readiness skills needed to enter first grade, and I couldn't be more proud of him. Way to go, River. You worked hard. Keep it up. Our next day for the day is a second grader in Dr. Tom's class. Now, this student is nominated in all five areas, and after looking at her reading scores, I can totally tell why. Now, guys, are you ready to find out who I'm super excited about? Well, it is Vicky Shang. Way to go, Vicky. Thanks for doing whatever it takes to be a scholar in La Salle at home. Vicky has been a reading rock star. She has 16 reading comprehension quizzes in a row, above 80%. She's been working hard to improve as a reader, and her hard work and dedication are showing. She set a goal for herself and is achieving success one book at a time. Vicky is a Weaver rock star. Our third and final A for the day is a third grader in Miss Tongue's class. Now, this student is nominated for attitude, acceptance, and ambition, but to me, he should be nominated in the area of perseverance if we had one. Are you ready to find out who I'm excited about? Well, it is you and Danks. Way to go, Yun. Let's see what makes you a top scholar in Los Island Home. Yuan is a rock star. Due to some technical difficulties, some of his opinion writing work got deleted. Oh no! Did Yuan let that discourage him? No way! He persevered and came back stronger than ever. I am so proud of him, and he should be proud of himself. Way to crush it, Yuan! There you have it, La Salle. Remember, listen to your teacher, follow instructions from your parents, take a risk, and I'll see you online. Bye!